Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you subscribe. I compare and contrast what we see on the big and small screens to their written source material. If that is of interest to you, please help me grow my channel by subscribing, sharing, and turning on all notifications. As I said I would last week, today I'm covering Dexter by Design and seeing how it measures up to season four of Dexter, which it for the most part doesn't. With the exception of a serious injury inflicted on Deborah and Dexter enrolling Cody in the Cub Scouts, and some mention featuring specific choice words of jumping in with both feet, which, if you recall, was the sage advice offered to Dexter by the Trinity Killer when it came to making a serious commitment to family. Other than that, Dexter by design shares nothing with season four, where we had Dexter trying and struggling to burn the candle at both ends, trying to meet the needs of the dark passenger and meet the needs of his family, and not doing a very good job at either, since he's getting clumsy and forgetful with his targets, and getting neglectful and largely absent with his family. So, as former Special Agent Lundy comes back to Miami to join forces with Miami Metro Homicide to hunt this Trinity killer that so far only he knows about, Dexter secretly uh, piggybacks on the investigation to have him all to himself. Upon finding out that the Trinity Killer is a family man, he makes the terrible misjudgment of letting his guard down to pick his brain a little and learn how to be the ideal family man and keep his dark passenger a well-guarded secret. Only to find out the worst way possible that the Trinity Killer is the worst possible mentor he could have ever chosen. And it is almost frustrating to watch him waste so much time risking exposure and trying to learn from this guy rather than to just do what he does best and wipe him out. It might have saved Deb and Lundy from being shot and Rita and the baby from this terrible fate at the very end. But as we know, things go into season five that wouldn't make sense if that if the season four didn't end the way it did. Anyway, Dexter by design, it shares something with season two, in that Dexter spent some time in Paris on his honeymoon with Rita, and also shares something with season six, where the central murder investigation in the story features the victims set up in elaborate tableaus but they are not inspired by revelations in the Bible. It's not the, um, what was it, the uh, Doomsday Killer in the show in season six. In Dexter by Design, these victims are, their insides are taken out and their bodies are kind of converted into welcome wagon baskets with flowers and fancy snacks. And the adversarial team responsible is two guys who are also a couple, which is something that uh, this book shares with season seven. Also sharing with season six and seven, in here, De Deborah figures out and eventually makes peace with Dexter's dark passenger. All right, other than that, Dexter is warming up to domestic life and working on setting his dark passenger in the back seat while helping Aster and Cody stay in control of theirs until these murder victims turn up one by one looking like gift baskets. One of them stabs Deb and she loses so much blood that she's in a coma for a while. Dexter takes out that one, whose name is Donchevec, which leaves his partner Weiss still out there and hungry for revenge. Weiss kidnaps Rita and puts his plans to incorporate her into a model train set on live feed camera for all to see. When Dexter and the kids catch up to him, they fight and struggle, and just as Weiss is, is advancing on one of the kids with a screwdriver, it is Rita who draws final blood with a fatal hip check that drops him right onto the table saw. And all the spectators who did not know this was real go wild. 
And Dexter by Design closes on an epilogue where everyone's on the mend, the FBI is on their way out, and Rita gives Dexter the exciting news that they're having a baby. And that is all for Season 4 of Dexter and Dexter by Design. Please leave a comment and smash that like button, and check out my sponsor at the link in the description. And we will meet up back next week to see how Season 5 measures up to Dexter is Delicious.